This is Frontos of Cichlids and More. And we're looking at, in this video, something really exciting that's going to interest a lot of people that have African Cichlids and Mabuna. More caves. More Mabuna. So what I'm going to talk about here, I'm going to talk about the caves. And how it can help you have more Mabuna. Now it's something you may not think is correlated or have, actually have any causality where a cave can have more ability to have more fish. But it's going to be really quick. It's going to be simple. It's going to give you information you may already have. But it's going to clarify in very simple, easy to learn terms and give you some exciting ways to do some breeding in your aquarium without any effort at all besides your regular maintenance. Well, stay tuned for this amazing video, more caves and more Maguna. Now, I've been using these Pimplax Deco Caves for years, and I get a lot of questions regarding them and where you can get them. Now, you can get them at the local fish stores, a lot of them, not, maybe not all of them. Uh, also, the Petco uh, carries a certain size, not this size. So they carry a certain size and they range from if you want a jumbo and then a, a smaller size for $25 for two uh, or you can get a whole set which comes with a lar uh, two jumbos I think this is a large two jumbos two large two medium and two small for $50 now that it sounds expensive but you're getting a lot of caves and these guys last a long time and they get a good coloration after they've been in the water for a while, some algae, some dark spots. Uh, and also, the surface area is very porous uh, and can really hold that beneficial bacteria. So that actually will help you with your filtration in your aquarium. And if you have your, your caves built up in the back where they're high up, uh, you'll have a lot more beneficial bacteria than just from the substrate and from your filter itself. Now, if you see here, there's a hole here, there's a hole here, and there's a hole here. Plenty of places for them to swim around in, and then you can position them different ways. Now, you can stack regular rocks on top of them, or you can stack more of these. Now, I like to do a little mixture uh, for my aquariums to make it look all right. Now, it may not look the best back here compared to other people's aquariums, but it, what I like to have is functionality with a little bit of decor, but these guys you can get on the internet, uh, Amazon, different websites, uh, and they are made of, uh, it's kind of like a concrete substance, and it's very hard. Now, if you dropped it on a concrete floor, it would shatter, but if you dropped it on like a carpeted floor, it would probably be okay. I wouldn't really recommend dropping them, period. Uh, I've not had any of them crack or, or burst or anything like that. Uh, inside the aquarium so they do pretty good so I, I kind of answers a lot of questions on caves that I have I have them for my frontoses and all my cichlids they do just a great uh, job and they've lasted me for years so you know people want to ask about these so I want to give some information about them remember this gives uh, areas for less aggression because they can fish can swim in there get away from the mean fish that can actually be some breeding areas where they actually do the spawning dance inside the cave more beneficial bacteria and you can have more cichlids in general if you have these caves and if you do not have caves uh, it really can help out in fertosa breeding keeps the the males away from the females because of too much aggression can really stress a fish and you can actually have fish dry die from the stress so let's uh, take a look at something else that I found today that I think you'd find interesting. I'm going to give a little bit close up of these Mabuna here. You can start to count them. You're not going to be able to count them all because some of them are hiding. But believe me when I tell you, there's over 40 Mabuna in this aquarium. 40? And I'm just going to go ahead and answer the question. It's going to come out unless I say it in this video. This video is on this aquarium here. It is a 75 gallon aquarium. 75 gallon. Now, 
a lot of people that have Mabuna and African cichlids, they want a lot of activity. Well, one thing that can guarantee you a lot of activity is more caves and more Mabuna. And more caves allow you to have more Mabuna. So it's going to in turn give you more activity and more more coloration if you have different types of Mabuna. And I'll be adding some more Mabuna in, in this aquarium in the future, but I'm going to keep it all Labochromus. And if in by nature they do mix, and I like what turns out when the Labochromus types agree with other Labochromus types, then I'll have some more Mabuna that could be odd and strange and really cool. Uh, that has to do with the breeding. So, when you have more Mabuna and you have more caves, more caves, and more Mabuna, that's going to equal more Mabuna. Because all these hiding spots here are going to allow some of those fry, you see there's one holding there, those fry to be raised in this aquarium without me doing any extra work, which is going to be amazingly awesome. Now if you see that cave right there on the bottom of the aquarium, it kind of looks out of place. And you're probably wondering why I didn't, you know, put it back where it needs to be on the shelf of the of the cave system, the kind of the reef system or so so forth. Why didn't I put it up there? Well, I was gonna do that before this video, and when I lifted up that particular cave, lo and behold, there was several fry hiding beneath the cave. Now if you're not one of a, a person that would like to strip their fish uh, and don't want to separate the females from the other fish in other aquariums, the way you can have more fish breed in the aquarium and raise the fry is to have more hiding spots. So this particular cave is hiding several fry and it can be beneficial to your setup if you have cave systems and more places to hide for the fry. Now some of the fish are in here, uh, some of the yellow tops uh, are holy now. Let's get a view of one here, right there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, that's about as close as I can get for right now. Anyways, the small one right there, it's holding. Uh, we have some bicolor labs that's holding this one right there. It's holding. So you can have multiple fry come out and raise to full adulthood if you have more places to hide. And this results in what? What does it result in? More Mabuna. So you have more caves, more hiding spots, uh, then you can get more Mabuna in the long run. It's really a cool thing to have. Uh, more beneficial bacteria, more colorful fish, you got more, more places to hide, they feel more relaxed, they're not stressed. You're not going to have fish deaths due to the stress because they can get away from the mean fish like this guy's trying to be a boss, chasing some fish around. And so things work out good. And you can have more full size Mabuna in here because of all the hiding spots, all the caves. Now you don't have to have the pin plaques deco caves, but I'm just saying caves in general helps your hobby, helps your Mabuna, and you get more caves, you can get more Mabuna. So, in the future, I'm going to be getting some Hongi. I'm going to order them this coming week. I've been talking about it for too long. I've not done it. I'm actually going to bite the bullet and get them. Now, I won't have them go in this aquarium unless they are actually a pretty good size. We'll see how they turn out to be. And I think that's going to be something that's exciting for my channel and for myself in the hobby to get some new Mabuna. Now, people have wondered about some projects I've had of breeding projects. Well, they're going to go on in this aquarium. You're going to have the bicolor Labochromus probably breed with the yellow top Labochromus. They're, you know, they're the same species. So some breeding experiments may come out of this aquarium without me doing one ounce of work besides your regular maintenance. So I appreciate you watching this exciting video. This has been What? What? More caves and more Maguna.